The recent attacks on Jews during Hanukkah in New York City have members of the Jewish community here in Cincinnati on edge. And Jeanette Levy spoke with Jewish community leaders about their fears and precautions being taken here. And Jeanette? Well, Kyle and Paula, images like the ones you're seeing right here are absolutely heartbreaking and sadly not new for members of the Jewish community, but they say they are determined that good will triumph over hate. Nine days ago, Jews gathered at Summit Park to light the menorah on the first night of Hanukkah. In the days since, and more than 600 miles away, the news has been filled with instances of Jews being attacked. I, I think the Jewish community is afraid. As Orthodox Jews, I think we are, as a community, even uh, more fe fearful because we stand out. Amberley Village is home to many Jewish organizations, so the attacks hit close to home. Our security measures stay the same. We stay on the same high level of security throughout all, all times throughout the year. Mm -hmm. and we don't change how we do things. We don't do things differently. The most recent attack on Jews celebrating Hanukkah happened when police say this man walked into a rabbi's home in Monsey, New York and slashed five people. He now faces federal hate crime charges. We are not going to allow um, hateful people to uh, scare us out of our Jewishness. And in fact, we're going to double down in our Jewish pride and in our Jewish identity and in expressing that. Jackie Congedo of the Jewish Community Relations Council says acts of anti-Semitism have been on the rise for some time, but she points to the resiliency of Jews throughout history. Last night, on the last night of Hanukkah, hundreds attended a menorah lighting ceremony in Liberty Township. Firefighters came out to show their support. Rabbi Yosef Kalmanson encouraged people to share photos on social media with the hashtag light against hate. We are really empowered to dispel darkness, which is the evil that we're, that we're experiencing, uh, through additional light of our own. So when we increase in our own light, um, that's the best way to dispel the darkness. Now, while the Anti-Defamation League says that instances of anti-Semitism are on the rise, members of the Jewish community here say that fortunately, there hasn't been an uptick in attacks on Jews here. They believe that's due in part to the community being so proactive and taking steps to protect themselves. Kyle. All right, Anjanette, thank you. And police here locally work with federal agencies like the Department of Homeland Security to monitor four threats. Rabbi A.D. Matson says a big part of rooting out anti-Semitism is the activity that occurs online and on social media.